Okay, today we're going to be looking at probability trees. Again, you learnt this in year 10 and again last year, but I want to go over it and make sure you understand that this is the only way that you can draw probability trees. You'll see in some books that they draw them from the top down. I still draw them from this way to that way, so go with me. Basically, a probability tree starts with a probability of 1. Everything over there is going to happen. When we have our branches, we might have um, the probability of blue, green, and yellow. Marbles in a bag. All right? So what we need to know is how many there are all together, but that's not going to be obvious on here. What it's going to say, well, it is going to be obvious, because what we're going to say is that there are 2 out of 12, 3 out of 12, and 7 out of 12. All right? So the probabilities go on the branches. The outcomes go over here. Sometimes we could have... Um, Things like this. Okay, so we put the marbles back in the bag once we've chosen the first one. The first one was blue. Now we want to know if we choose again whether it will be blue or not blue. So we're looking for whether it will be the same colour as the first time we picked a marble out. So we've still got 2 out of 12, but now we've got 10 out of 12 as our not blue. All right, we've got green and not green. So in this case, we'd have 3 out of 12, and 12 take away 3 is 9 out of 12 that are not green. Okay, and this one, yellow, and not yellow. Alright, so we've got 7 out of 12, and what's the left? 5 out of 12. So every little set of branches should always add up to 1. 2 twelfths, 3 twelfths, and 7 twelfths is 12 twelfths, which is 1. 2 and 10 is 12 twelfths, 1, 1, 1. Okay? So that you know that that is, covers all the possibilities in there. At the end of our probability tree, we write our outcomes. So we've got here blue, 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 not blue. Green, 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 not green. Yellow, 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 not yellow. Those are our outcomes that we're interested in drawing those two marbles one at a time, putting the first one back in of marbles out of a bag. The next thing we want to do is we want to write our probabilities. So here's the column all of its own. All right, so when we multiply our probabilities, we multiply across. So 2, 12 times 2, 12 equals 444. Okay? So being that there were 12 marbles in the bag, there are four opportunities of me to take two blues out if I had all the opportunities. All right? Leaving it unsimplified, fine and dandy. So we've got 2, 12 times 10, 12 equals 20, 144. All right. Here we've got 9 over 144, 27 over 144, 49 over 144, and 35 over 144. And if we add up these numbers here, we should get 144 over 144. That's our check. Okay. So it would always add down to 1. So the big thing here is we multiply across branches. Okay. And we add down branches. That's when we're combining probabilities. All right. 
So each one of these is an event. It's something that's happening. happening. So this would be event one, taking one marble. And putting it back. This would be event two, taking one marble. And at the moment it doesn't matter whether we put it back or not, but we will put it back. Because we may want to go for another whole branch and have three marbles. So an event means one thing that's happening and all of the possible outcomes of that one event. All right? So it could be. Um, could be something like the amount of people in a room and putting them as soccer players, rugby players and whatever, and not soccer or rugby players. So you have all of the branches, that would be your first event, drawing from that room. All right, so more work, guys. Have fun. Hope you're all keeping well. See you soon.